So what's going on here is we got a grub situation. So they only pecked away at a certain part of the lawn. So rather than tearing up the whole lawn, I spread some manure out, some grass seed. And keep it misted, and it actually grows right into the weak spots where the grubs were. And then come next spring, it's October now, come next spring I'm going to put down some, uh, probably the milky spore, not the grub X, because I don't want any poisons on the yard right now. So that's what this is here. Grubs, they can definitely be a threat to your lawn. Watch out. What are these dreaded grubs? Well, they're not indigenous to North America, and they found their way here from Asia. Adult Japanese beetles pupate, which means come out of their pupa stage into beetles in July in the Northeast United States, and feed on flowers and leaves of shrubs and garden plants. During this stage, the adult stage that is, the beetles also mate, and then the females lay eggs in the soil in late July to early August. The eggs hatch soon afterwards, and then in this larval or grub stage, they feed on the roots of grass and other plants. That's when we see the damage to the grass, because they eat the roots, the tender, juicy roots, and then the plant up top, the green plant, starts to wither and brown and eventually die because of the root damage. As the weather gets cooler and winter approaches, the grubs then dig down deeper into the soil, and feeding declines as they more or less hibernate. Until spring, that is, when most of these grubs start their way back upward, eat the roots of tender grass plants. Again. In August, when the grubs are closer to the surface and feeding, they're vulnerable to infestation by what I call grub-killing products, such as one that I like to use that's more natural called milky spore. This is the optimal time frame in August, that is, for application with milky spore to increase milky spore in the soil environment. There are product-specific guidelines that should be followed for milky spore application, and they're a little bit different than your typical application of poisons like Grub-X. Resident spores, milky spore, in the soil are then swallowed by grubs during their normal pattern of feeding on the roots. This ingestion of the spore by the host or a grub, activates reproduction of the bacteria inside the grub. The grubs are highly allergic to this bacteria, but it spreads inside the grub. So within about a week or two, um, the grub will eventually die, and as the grub decomposes, billions of new spores are released into the soil. Milky spore is a soil-dwelling, rod-shaped bacterium, basically. It's responsible for that disease, commonly called milky spore, of the white grubs of Japanese beetles. Milky spore in the soil is not harmful to beneficial insects then, like birds, the bees, pets, or people. And milky spore, like other bacteria, is highly survivable in drought conditions. Excuse me, but it does not work well on, uh, in colder climates, something to keep in mind. Products like Grub-X and others are very strong and dangerous poisons that can kill literally everything in its path. The grubs, other insects, and anything that eats the poison grubs can be affected as well. Also, pets, children are also exposed. It's wise to spread even a safer product like milky spore on rainy days so it soaks down into the ground and does its work. Some other grub preventing tips are to keep a strong healthy lawn with good quality seed and fertilizer so the strong grass can endure various diseases, insects, and droughts. Also, use several Japanese beetle traps in the late summer. The fewer there are around your yard, the fewer the grubs. Make sure to spend your time and money on these traps because they work really, really well and they have a tremendous effect on your lawn's well-being. And fear not, don't panic. You can easily and inexpensively repair a grub issue if you catch it early enough. Yes, removal of dead grass and regrowth will work, but I have numerous times been able to simply surface treat and revive some real bad patches of grub-eaten lawn. So the problem with grubs is that they get down deep inside underneath and they start ripping up your, your, uh, your grass. They start eating the roots. They get way underneath there and actually kill the grass. So what I did was I treated this with the, um, with the compost manure and 
top coated it with the seeds and as you can see you know getting some rain that definitely comes up now it's early october so i was hoping that this would happen where we get a little bit of greenage there to start growing some of the stuff back um because this part over here this part of the lawn was really bad it got really hit hard by grubs and i just left it i didn't do what a lot of people do which is tearing up the grass and um you know reseeding it i kind of left it to kind of repair itself and then early in the spring next year i'm probably going to put down some something for the grubs knowing that they were a real problem this year um and i'll probably be using milky spore it's kind of a natural substance that um, takes care of the grubs without the harsh and dangerous chemicals so don't be too afraid if you see if you see grubs and just know that you can top coat it top seed it and you know get it situated for for fall